Hey everyone, it's the Stacking Cat, and I am back with a brand new video about silver, and today I will be unboxing some coin supplies that I ordered through JP's Corner, so please stay tuned. Stacking Cat Hello YouTube, and welcome to the Stacking Cat channel, where I talk all things silver with a little bit of gold, and thank you so much for watching, I greatly do appreciate it. And before I unbox some of these coin supplies, I'm going to go through some channel mail that I got. I did some sticker trades with a couple of channels, so let's get into that. First, Highlander Stacking. Uh, great channel, check him out. I will also be putting links to both of these channels down below, so you could go there, watch their channels, subscribe. Uh, let's keep this community going. Really invaluable asset to have and Highlander stack and check him out. He does unboxing videos, a lot of numismatic stuff and a lot of good content there. So thank you so much. Highlander stack in proud of your bullion. Couldn't say it better myself. Always be proud of your bullion. You're stacking for a reason and never let that or outside opinion sway you in any way. And next is Scrapping himself, SHTF, Scrapping, Hoarding, Tinkering, Fun. Um, he does a lot of live streams. Check those out. I'll put a link, of course, to his channel as well. And one thing about live streams, maybe you guys could help me out in the comments. Maybe I'm just uh, technology illiterate in some in some fashions. But I, I watch a lot of my YouTube on my TV. And it's like a few years old. It's a 2017 or 2018 Vizio. It's a smart TV. It has the bells and whistles. You know, not nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. However, I can't comment or enter a live stream or do anything like that on it. I don't know. I guess it's just something I can't do. I know I could hook up my laptop to my TV. Um, that gets a little cumbersome sometimes. So any suggestions out there or am I just kind of stuck where I'm at there. All right. So a couple of stickers there. Thank you so much. Also sent me a coaster and a nice little note as well. So thank you to Highlander Stackin and to Scrapping. Thank you so much guys. And if you anybody else out there would like to do a sticker trade, just shoot me an email. It is the stacking cat at gmail.com as I'll post here on the screen, and we could get a trade going. I'd love to do it. All right, so this is a huge box. Got a lot of stuff from JP's Corner. At the end of this video, I will go through a screen recording I did of their website, kind of uh, navigate it with you guys. Really easy to use. They're out of Missouri. Um, I ordered this a few days ago. It was shipped and to my house. I think it took three total days, even during this time where, you know, shipping times are slower. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. And of course that brings me back to the uh, main thing. I hope everybody out there is healthy. Their families and friends are healthy as well. That's the main thing right now. And let's get into this unboxing. All right, this is a really nice box. I'm going to want to keep this. You know, when I do a lot of my unboxings or when I order stuff uh, online, whether it's silver stacking, uh, supplies, silver itself, gold, whatever it may be, Amazon, I don't know. It's always good. Keep the boxing, the packaging. It'll come in handy. And this is a nice box for that. So this is nicely packaged. Let's get all this extra out. Barely even fits on my screen. So I think what I'll do is I'll take this off and kind of pull each item out as I go. All right, so I got a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna start out with uh, something that a lot of us probably have and it really comes in handy. It's these, the red cap tubes. I got two different sizes. I got the ones, these bigger ones that fit the 
black ring or white ring uh, air tights, as well as the regular size. These are really cheap. Um, I'll show you at the end all that I got and how much it cost. Not too bad at all. Well worth it. So these work out really well. Of course, for your capsuled silver. So you could fit up to 20 of these at a time. Let's see, start with a few here just to show you guys. Um, it looks like this is an Antigua and Barbuda, the Rum Runner series up top. Show a little bit of silver in this, can't just show pure supplies, right? And these work out really handy for the air tights. These fit generally the 39 millimeter and less. So 39 millimeter seems to be the most common size. Of course, the 40.6s are as well. If you kind of hear, I don't know if you could, the air releasing there, and it really gets a nice little tight fit. Good space saver, better than just, you know, capsules going everywhere. And of course, like I said, the bigger size fits the black ring and the 40.6 millimeter and above size capsules. Always great to have. I already had a few of these. Needed some more. I had a lot of capsules just kind of uh, freewheeling and going around. You know, a lot of coins, when you order them online or even buy them at a local coin shop, come capsuled. So, let's. what better way than to treat those coins with the respect they deserve and throw them in these tubes. Okay, let's see what else I was able to get. So I also got some two by twos, a 25 pack here. These work really well. You know, usually more constitutional uh, size silver, some fractional stuff. Um, if you have some foreign coins, you know, circulated coins, whatever it may be. And you have kind of a, and if you have a nice example of such, throw it in there, of course, fold it over, staple it, there you go protects them they work these are a lot better than those plastic flips the ones you get from Atmex or jm or wherever it may be when they send you your your silver or gold those you know those could scratch the coins when you're taking them in and out not always the best uh, they're known to break kind of crack tear whatever it is so these work a lot better than that so i got that size the two by two also got this smaller dime size this will also fit a quarter ounce of gold or a tenth ounce of gold or of course like a mercury or if you have like a cool example of a penny or a cent i should say here in the u.s they're called cents well they're in there pretty good you can see what those are so i grabbed those these are fun there you can make your own little coin binder out of these I don't want to really... Okay, here we go. I don't want to ruin this. It's a nice little bag you could reuse. It's about recycling everything. You know, the less things, the less amount of items you have to purchase, the better. That is always the case. Keep that uh, dollar cost average down. And, you know, it's important to calculate even this stuff because you're buying it for your stack. So these work really good. You know, they have a bunch of different sizes. Let's set that to the side. All right, so I got the two sizes, two different sizes here. One of them does fit the 39 millimeter and less, and the other is the 40.6 and higher. And let me show exactly what they look like. I have another, I have another one of these. It's already filled up. Works out really well. Turn that upside down. I make it just a little bit bigger. All right, so this works really well. You know, like I said, they have here on the side, you can put it in a binder. You can't put it, stack too many of these. Remember there's these whole 20 ounces of silver, so you don't want your binder falling apart. You know, once you get up to like, if you put five of these and you have 100 ounces, that gets to be pretty heavy. 
so you're able to kind of go in there and check out your different coins. I have a bunch of pandas, kooks, kookaburras, and koalas in here for now. It saves a lot of space if you're putting this in a safe or a trunk. Um, it could just kind of slide in the corner there. You could stack these on top even. Great space saver, just a way to preserve your bullion, your numismatics, whatever it may be. Really nice items, these kind of fit just right in. Here's a 2019 Panda. It's a nice one. Don't have the 2020 yet, a little expensive. However, check out maybe Silver Gold Bull since they're out of Canada. If you're in the United States, you might not have to pay that extra price. But yeah, just slides right back in. All these different ones fit. Ooh, slides right out. Here's a, this was the 2020 Kookaburra. All right, so it fits perfectly. And then it kind of snaps right in there in the center and at the edges works really well like I said put it in a binder or just leave them out this is what I'll probably do I mean just like that look how thick that is not very thick at all and that's 60 ounces right there saving a lot of space you know if you get your stack pretty big it's one thing with silver the value is just not as high so you need a lot of it and you know space becomes an issue Great space saver, some of these items. So let's see what else I was able to grab. Okay, let's see what we got here. I think these are some air tights. Yeah, this taped up pretty good. Move that out of the way. Whoa. They went everywhere. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do it. But yeah, just some air tights here. Though sometimes they sell them in the the box is a little bit easier than like this, but still 10 air tights. This is the H size. And if you go on the website, they have measurements so you know exactly what you're getting. So let's kind of put this back to the side, figure that out. When I get off camera, uh, let's see. I got a few others. All right, so those were the 40s. I got the 39s. Um, I got some of the deep 38s. These work really well with the Canadian two ounce coins or the one and a halfs, I believe. Um, so they have the same diameter, the 38 millimeters, but they are a little bit thicker. So the Canadian goose that just came out or the uh, Kraken. Uh, the new Mounty 100th anniversary silver coin that came out. Those work really well with these. Those will fit right in. Then I got a couple of 32s. And I could be using one of these in a future video, so be on the lookout for that. Not going to give too much more away, but I wanted to get a couple of these just in case. What else did I get? I should have got some more gloves. I have these old Atmex gloves, just don't work out that well. But, oh, of course, the easels. We all love these. Got five more. I already had five. Really nice presentation. So, for example, just grab these coins randomly. So they kind of show up. So there you go. Put five of those in a row. You show off your coins a lot better that way. Should probably adjust the camera angle a little better. But for this purpose, it's a good way to go. Just a good demonstration. So five more of those. And like I said, you know, it's all about saving space, being efficient. With your stack and your supplies, those just link right up. No problem there. Right, I believe I got one more thing here. 
And it's these display boxes. These are really cool. Not expensive at all. Really well worth it, especially if you have, you know, a numismatic coin or just a special coin in your stack, in your collection that you really want to display and show people. And I'll show you how it works. Oh, they got this thing in there good. So it has this magnetic, it even comes with a silica gel. That's nice. So it even it has this magnetic. So it has this magnetic lip, just seals it. Snaps it right in, really nice. Of course, I got two different sizes. That one's not gonna fit. Let's get to the bigger size. Show you exactly what we're working with. Get the stacking cat sticker back out. So same thing. That silica out. So it just fits right in. So you could either display it like that, snap it down. They have all different colors. Or they have it a setup where you could as a little stand in the back here. Easier to do with the coin out. Put that coin back in. And you could stand it up if you'd like. So that works out pretty well. Collapses really easily. Has the little piece of ribbon that pulls it up. That's a nice coin. Wow. Shiny. Love that silver. All right, so that's what I got. And as you can see, that invoice, nothing pricey at all. The most expensive thing were the two 10 packs of Airtights 545. So for 10 of them, the uh, red cap tubes, $1.50 each. Uh, the binder sheets or foldouts, coin boxes, whatever it's called there, that you put in the binder holds 20 ounces. That's $2.65. I mean, you can just see really cheap. I had to pay shipping. I didn't hit that $100 mark, but they got it here really quick. JP's Corner, great site just for coin supplies. A lot of this stuff we really need. Um, you just don't want all your silver or gold just kind of willy-nilly everywhere. Highly recommend JP's Corner. I will put a link to them down below. And so as you can see, we go to jpscorner.com, hit the menu, all the different things you can go to, air tights, coin storage, coin display, coin care, uh, their homepage. They even have currency holders, uh, books like the Red Book and such. So just click on air tight really quick, scroll down and see exactly what they have. You know, they have uh, ordering guides, you know, exactly what size you need. Uh, whether it's like a 39 millimeter, 40 millimeter capsule, whatever it may be. As you can see, they have the regular air tights, the black rings. You, you can just buy those separately. The coin capsule boxes, the display boxes. There's the binder sheets, uh, the easels, presentation boxes, just everything you want. And that's just one little section here. And as we go back up, really easy to navigate the site. So check them out, uh, jpscorner.com. They have really anything you need, anything and everything. Uh, they get, they ship things out really fast. So be sure and check them out. And so I hope everybody enjoyed this video and thank you again for watching. And thank you so much to Scrapping and Highlander Stackin for the sticker trade. And like I said, shoot me an email if you'd like to do a sticker trade as well. Um, fun thing to do. Keep engaged in the community that way. 
And if you'd like to see similar videos about silver, then please consider subscribing and pushing that notification bell, smashing that like button and leaving a comment. Uh, let me know where you guys get your coin supplies. Uh, what's your go-to? And maybe just help out some other members of the community um, with some information in that regard. And until next time, this is the Stacking Cat.